Can you bring to mind the last time that you were in a conflict? And think about how much time and energy and worry did you go through before you felt like you moved through it? Really important question. And perhaps you have a conflict right now that you feel like you're struggling with. So my, my purpose of this recording is to bring some awareness that of conflict that you may not have thought of quite in this way before. So I'm Karen Valencic and I have studied, explored, and written about the topic of conflict for three decades. <laughs> wow, and I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. So I bring a bit of a different background to this in terms of I am a martial artist. I, I have practiced Aikido the art of peace for 30 years, 32 years actually. And I've also an engineering background. So I like to think about physics. I, think, I like to think of the practicality of conflict. And so what is conflict? And we're gonna get down to the most basic thing. So if you will, take a fist and bring it here in front of you and take your other fist and bring it in front of you and push. Now you could do this with another person if you're watching this with somebody, but, but push together those fists. So you know what this is? Voila, this is conflict. Conflict, conflict etymologically is to strike together, conflict. And so that's what we've got here. Now, on other videos, you have, if you've seen me speak or listen to my other videos, you'll hear me say that conflict is a good thing. And, and conflict is a good thing. The difference is that there's a fine line that distinguishes the difference between innovative, productive conflict and destructive conflict. And the line is right here. So depending on how fast you push, how long you're pushing, or how hard you're pushing, those are all things that will determine whether this is destructive or not. And to make it innovative, you wanna just push only as much as you need to, to engage, and then you need to shift. Now, I have a, a longer thing that I'm not gonna get into in this video where I call it spiral impact, and it's a whole method, but thinking about we want to engage, we wanna create this conflict, but if it's over too much time if it's too hard and it's too fast for the people involved, then, then it gets to be destructive. So if you find yourself here, stop. Just stop. That's the first thing to do is just create awareness of when you're doing this. And many people will find that awareness through their thoughts, negative thinking or blaming thinking. They might feel it in their body. They might feel their temperature rise. They, they'll get red in the face. Their heart might start beating fast. Um, there's a lot of physical symptoms that come with this. Um, you might emotionally just get really, really angry. And those are all things that are valid that come with conflict. But if you can grasp the fact that this is conflict and the thing that's important about this, notice I have two fists. It requires two people or more than one person. And you know, if you're in a conflict, uh -huh, uh -huh. you've got one of these fists and you're part of it. Also keep in mind that conflict doesn't have to happen just with one other person. It can be a group, but also it can happen inside yourself. Whether you have a conflict between your, your logic and your heart, your emotions, um, that can be a conflict, which is kind of the same kind of dynamic. You, we can also have conflict with events. We certainly have had a lot of events in, in the last few years that create conflict for people. And again, it just depends on how, how are you going to respond to that. Are you going to hit back or are you going to do something else? We can also have conflict with things. So I could have a conflict with a, a, a lock in the, the door and it, and it breaks. I could have a conflict with plumbing. Um, so there's, there's all those things, and the same thing goes true, is when we do this, and we do it too long, too hard, too fast, it becomes destructive. But to be innovative, we want to push, but push just right. 
So your assignment, if you choose to take it, and when I work with people, it's always becoming aware of when you're pushing. That's the first step to be able to do something different. And I have other videos that go through different things here. I welcome you to check those out. I've got one on Aikido blending, and there should be a tag up here that, that can take you right there. But remember, um, conflict, it, it usually takes some participation from you to, um, to, to have that created. And the good news is that you can also participate and shift the whole dynamic. And honestly, as I've studied this, I find that when you can master conflict, which is really mastering yourself, there's a tremendous amount of freedom that happens. So again, I'm Karen Valensic. I'm the author of Spiral Impact, uh, The Power to Get It Done with Grace, which is actually can be picked up anywhere. Here's a copy of it if you're interested in reading about it. Um, but that's all I have today. Just wanted you to think about what conflict is in a little bit different way than perhaps you have before. If you have a question you'd love me to answer, please, um, please ask it in the comments. And I thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.